What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 29th CSS tutorial and this tutorial is going to be amazing because we're going to be talking about my favorite part of CSS and that is called the div element. Now before you might have noticed if you try to make a cool looking web page that what we know so far we can't really get a cool layout with our web page. Maybe you tried using tables but that didn't really work out. It looked like an old web page. I mean if we just put like a heading and an image and then a paragraph everything kinda looks like it's stacked on top of each other and it reminds you of like the old 1990s websites where everything was just like plain and stupid and it wasn't a good layout. It looked more of like an outline for English class than a layout. So here is what I'm gonna introduce to you guys in this tutorial an element called div short for division long for duh no it's not long for duh but anyways what it means is a div element pretty much gives you the ability to define sections on your web page to place elements exactly where you want them so for example if you want an image in the top right and then um, maybe a heading in the bottom left and maybe some paragraphs somewhere in the middle you can position them exactly how you want them using the div element so now everything just doesn't have to go paragraph under it a heading under it an image under it another heading nothing has to be stacked on top of each other anymore it could be laid out to the left right side by side if you want so anyways enough of me talking let's get in let me show you guys this div in action so let's go ahead and put some text on the screen just put some uh my name is bucky that's good enough nothing too big don't want to waste my time type in uh worthless text so anyways go ahead and surround it with these tags d i v and yes you have to use those exact letters and d i v so now the text the my name is bucky it's surrounded in div tags right here so what exactly can we do with div tags well if we go up here in our css and write div and in our properties or curly braces whatever you want to call them go ahead and start adding properties to it first of all let's go ahead and make it easy to see so let's give a, a, like a solid red border so border two pixels solid red if you guys can't see that then you are blind so now I'm gonna teach you guys about something called positioning but actually just go ahead and do this position app salute now positioning is like a whole nother tutorial so I'm just gonna skip over this for now but it's crucial that if you want to follow along then you write position equals absolute but again um, don't worry about position right now because I'm gonna be covering that in like two or three tutorials but for now let's just stick with div and focus on this so anyways like I said a div is pretty much a section of your website so what we can do to give this box yeah that's a better term for it, a box and what we can do is first give this box a width so go ahead and set the width equal to 300 pixels and now what we can do is check it out let's go ahead and save it so we see what we're working with first go ahead and refresh the screen and we now have a box on our screen now the text is inside the box aka the div and also the box has a border of two pixels it's solid and it's red but we're saying alright Pucky you told me that I can position this anywhere I want on the screen it doesn't have to be stuck in the top left corner well let's go ahead and change that right now in order to change the position of this box the only thing you need are coordinates now here is the top of your browser right here and here's the left hand side so say you want to move it down 40 pixels so it'll be somewhere right here and left 35 pixels so it'll be like the top left will be somewhere right here so let's go ahead and do that by adding the properties top and go ahead and make this 40 pixels and also set left equal to 35 pixels and a lot of people get this confused easy whenever you save it and refresh it you see that it moved down 40 pixels and it moved to the right 40 pixels whenever you say top 40 pixels you're saying the top left corner you want to be 40 pixels down right here not like the middle some people might think alright a middle point would be a good point to move around but it's actually the top left corner you're 
you're focusing on. So whenever you say top 40, it says move the top down 40, or in other words, 40 pixels from the top. And whenever you say left to 35 pixels, it says move this corner 35 pixels from the left. So now we have our box move down from the top 40 pixels and move down, or excuse me, moved over from the left 35 pixels. So pretty easy to understand. And now you can see by using those coordinates, we can move this box around the screen anywhere we want. So this is a lot better way of positioning our elements around on screen than just before or maybe if you tried using a table don't ever do that because it just doesn't work. This is the new and improved way of how to use CSS to position elements. So later on when we're making an entire website and say maybe we want our logo in the top left and maybe an ad on the top right and a navigation bar across the top and maybe some more navigation on the left we use a bunch of different divs in order to make a bunch of different boxes that we can put stuff in. So anyways, um, I'm going to be teaching you guys about positioning and how to make different types of divs in the upcoming tutorials, so don't forget to check those out. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video.